John Belair's The Face in the Frost is a fantasy novel that mixes whimsical charm with darker, gothic elements to create a unique and unpredictable story. At its core, the novel follows two wizards, Prospero and Roger Bacon, who must stop a mysterious and menacing evil from threatening their world. The novel begins with a tone of lightheartedness and humor but gradually shifts into an atmosphere of growing danger, balancing between magical adventure and horror. One of the novel's most striking features is its mixture of the fantastical with the mundane, which enhances both its charm and its tension. Belair's presents magic as something familiar and almost domestic, where wizards like Prospero live in houses cluttered with books, magical instruments, and strange artifacts. There is a sense of nostalgia in this depiction of magic, almost as if it were a comfortable old trade rather than an awe-inspiring force. However, this lightness is contrasted sharply with the malevolent forces that slowly emerge, creating a dynamic that unsettles the reader. The creeping darkness that threatens Prospero and his world seems all the more sinister because it appears in such an otherwise cozy and playful context. Prospero, the protagonist, is far from the archetypal heroic wizard. He is portrayed as old, a bit disorganized, and often more interested in simple pleasures than in grand magical feats. This ordinariness makes him relatable, grounding the story in a sense of realism despite its magical setting. His friendship with Roger Bacon, another wizard, provides the emotional core of the novel. Their camaraderie and witty exchanges bring warmth and humor to the narrative, making their struggle against the growing evil more poignant as it feels personal. The affection between these two characters, their history, and their mutual respect add depth to the story beyond the fantasy adventure. The novel's antagonist is less clearly defined, adding to the sense of dread that permeates the second half of the story. The villain is a shadowy figure who manipulates events from the background, and this ambiguity makes the threat feel pervasive and unstoppable. Belair's employs a creeping sense of unease, using small, eerie incidents to build tension. The unsettling use of mirrors, strange voices, and other gothic tropes create an atmosphere of fear that contrasts with the earlier whimsical tone, marking the shift from lighthearted fantasy to something much darker. This progression reflects Belair's mastery of pacing, as the story moves from gentle humor to intense suspense, drawing the reader into the growing menace. The setting of the novel plays an essential role in the story's mood. The world Belair's creates is strange and whimsical, full of peculiar villages, mysterious woods, and magical objects. This surreal environment makes the threat of evil feel even more disorienting. As Prospero and Roger travel through this world in search of answers, the sense of mystery deepens, with the locations becoming stranger and more menacing. Belair's vivid descriptions of these magical places, combined with the unsettling nature of the evil that they encounter, heighten the sense of a dreamlike reality slipping into nightmare. One of the novel's most interesting aspects is its blending of different genres and influences. While it is clearly a work of fantasy, it also draws heavily on horror traditions. The gothic elements, with their focus on atmosphere, strange happenings, and psychological fear, are seamlessly woven into the magical framework of the story. The combination of magic and horror in The Face in the Frost gives the novel a unique tone, one that is both enchanting and disturbing. Belair's ability to mix these genres while maintaining a coherent narrative demonstrates his skill as a storyteller. Ultimately, The Face in the Frost is a novel about the balance between light and darkness, both in the magical world and in the characters themselves. Prospero's journey is not just a quest to defeat an external evil but also a confrontation with fear, loss, and the unknown. Belair's uses humor and warmth to make the characters relatable, while the growing darkness challenges them in profound ways. The novel's shifting tone from whimsy to horror mirrors the complexity of its themes, making it a rich and layered work of fantasy fiction.